In this tutorial, we're going to run through how to initially set up and create your first machine control project file within Topcon 3D Office. So what we will be requiring to do this is 3D Office installed on your computer, a linework file in the format of a DXF or DWG, a surface file again in the same format DXF or DWG but with 3D faces, and also a site localization. In this example, we're going to use a GC3 file. So when you first install 3D Office, this is the screen that you'll be seeing. First thing to notice is that the program itself initially installs in a US survey feed. So to change that, we go up into project options and change all these into uh, UK meters. So volumes, cubic meters, east-north elevation, and stationing, we set that to 100. Once that's set and we first save our project, those will become the default settings for 3D Office. The first thing that we need to bring in is our linework file from our AutoCAD drawing. In this example, we're going to bring in this tributary level, finish level, Rev C1. So this is our basic line work where we have three lines, different color on each. If we go up into project layer selection and management, we can see what each of those layers and line work colors represent. Now we need to bring in our tin surface from our AutoCAD file. So in here we have a DXF which contains all of our 3D faces. So bring that in and we now have a triangulated mesh sitting over our line work file. If we want to take a quick section through there, we go to Tin View Profile, and we can draw a bit of a section through there. Um, down in this bottom right hand corner, we've got a scale of one to one for our vertical exaggeration. And we can grip this section bar and drag it up through to see that we've got no issues in this surface running through this design. To increase the vertical scale, we just need to click on this button here and that will quickly show up any spikes within the surface as well. We can also run a 3D simulation into this area, which you can actually drive the machine through the uh, your model. So if we go to view and turn on the wireframe, we can see this mesh sitting in here again. And by using the arrow keys on your keyboard, you can drive this machine through your design to see if you have any issues in any areas. So now we have surface and line work within the file. If you look down here on the bottom of your screen, you can see your coordinates and by hovering your cursor in the middle you can see down in this corner here you'll get an elevation pop up. Now what we need to do is bring in our project localization and so we'll go import control points from our 3D GC3 file. In this instance it's just called project 2 so we open that it will ask us whether we want to replace our existing control points which is a yes and now you can see all the control points that have been entered for this project. If we go to project control points, you'll see each of these listed. And if we double click on, you can see all the data for those points. We'll go through how to create this GC3 file from an Excel sheet in a different tutorial. But for now, that is your basic machine control file. So all we need to do now is save this. And it will save as a TP3. Um, so we'll just call this project 2. Save that as your TP3, which can then be placed on a USB stick. That file will then go directly onto the machine control and where you can pick and use your surface. 